Flowers, from Liv. Hola, sweetie. I hope these flowers will brighten your day. Love, Liv. That's cute. Liv's cute. I'm so happy to have Olivia Del Marco in my life. And Alien the Cat is hands down the best electronic shop in Casablanca. I can't wait to go back. When was the last time I visited her shop? That was ages ago. Did it close down? I... I remember something about... Uh, what just happened? Something happened to her. To live. Something terrible. Okay, that was not just in my head. Something's definitely going on. Olivia. She's dead. I know it. I feel it. Shit. Am I losing my mind, or is reality glitching? Liv had an accident. She's dead. She never sent me a get well card. What are you doing, Zoe? You shouldn't be on your feet. Come on. I'll tuck you in and read you a little story. Just like in the old days. No, this isn't really me anymore. I'd almost forgotten this. I won a competition. Second place, I think. Jama was so proud. <laughs> prouder than my dad, perhaps. Definitely prouder than me. I'd almost forgotten this. I won a competition. Second place, I think. Jama was so proud. <laughs> prouder than my dad, perhaps. Definitely prouder than me. Graduation day in front of Jammy Hall. Cape Town University has the most beautiful views. I spent so many lazy afternoons with friends, sitting on jammy steps and looking out over the city. I remember feeling like the end of my bioengineering degree was impossibly far away. I can't believe I actually made it to graduation. It's almost... almost like a dream. Come to think of it, I don't remember much from that day. I was there, I was wearing a gown, but who else was there? Dad? Reza? And what was the ceremony like? I just can't remember. Weird. Now I'm officially freaked out. Something's wrong. The whole graduation thing, something's definitely wrong here. I didn't graduate. I dropped out. I mean, sometimes I wish I hadn't, but this is a false memory. You don't look well, Zoe. You're probably seeing things. Please lie down, just for a minute. I'll watch over you. I'll sing for you. Thanks for joining us. Things are generally going very well today, wouldn't you say so, Marek? Incredibly well, Rika. We'll soon be out of jobs, the both of us. <laughs> I honestly wouldn't mind one bit, Marek. Following up on yesterday's heartwarming Wattie Corp story, the company behind everyone's favorite dream machine has announced that customer satisfaction has reached an unprecedented 110%. Impressive, Rika, but who can argue the dreamer has changed everything? An end to war, an end to violence, an end to poverty. What are we doing here, Marek? We should be in Dreamtime too. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, Rika. You said it. Wattie Corp has also announced that surplus profits from the Dream Machine will go to sponsoring free dreamers for children in... Jardin de Roses. Home, sweet home for most of my tumultuous teenage years. Dad and me in Casablanca. The Atlantic Ocean looks perfectly serene from here. When the megastorms aren't raging, of course, then not so much. That's me in Cape Town. Our fifth anniversary. Reza and I took the back tracks to Norway and a hydrofoil to Svalbard. We spent a long weekend traveling around the island. We always talked about going to Svalbard. It's such an incredible place. So majestic and so alien. 
And I was totally geeking out about going inside the Doomsday Vault. Five years together. Almost hard to believe. Things have been rocky between us from time to time. It's amazing that we... that we lasted... this long. I remember we stayed at the... uh... What was the name of that place again? And where was it? I don't... I don't remember... any of it. It's weird, but I remember nothing from the trip, aside from talking to Reza about it and this photo. We were there, and we've been together for five years, have, haven't we? No. No, this is wrong. This feels all wrong. We talked about going to Svalbard, but we never did. We broke up, and that trip, it never happened. This isn't helping anyone, Zoe. You're just going to ruin everything. Please stop. Please go back to bed. Go back to sleep, Zoe. It's a card from Karen. Karen's nice. She's been a good friend, and she makes great coffee. Mum, Dad, and me. That was when we moved to Casablanca. Mum and Dad were always moving when I was growing up, because of their jobs. This must have been the fifth or sixth home we moved into. I remember falling in love with the place as soon as we got there. It had all these nooks and crannies, a balcony and my own room with an awesome view. There were so many hiding places. Me and... and Mum. We played hide and seek all the time. When she came after me, she would stomp her feet and shout. What was it she'd say again? I... I don't actually remember her voice that well. Or her face. Or that she was there with Dad and me. Mum was... she wasn't... where was she? Helena was never part of our lives. It was just me and Dad. She abandoned us when I was an infant. Oh my god. This isn't real. This place is a... a hallucination. Or a projection. I need to get out of here. Look what you've done. Why couldn't you just leave things be? We could be happy here together. The both of us. Forever. I need you to go back to sleep, Zoe. Now. Before it's too late. Before... Look what you've done. Look what you've done. Why couldn't you just leave things be? We could be happy here together. Something's wrong. This place and... you. You're all wrong. You're not you. That doesn't make any sense, Zoe. Of course I'm me. I've always been me. Wonkers, your old friend. Your best friend in the whole world. You look the same, but you don't act the same, and you don't sound the same. It's like... like someone put you together from memory, but they didn't get the details right. They didn't know you like I know you, and they probably figured it wouldn't matter. That's what's wrong with this whole place. It's made of memories, and some of them are not right. Europolis, Arcadia, I wasn't dreaming. They were real. This is the dream, or a dream made physical by me. I made this, and I can see through it. But I'm real, Zoe, aren't I? Of course you are, Wonkers. Of course you're real. Are you sure you don't want to play a game? We haven't played a game in so long. I'm sorry, Wonkers. Okay, then. Promise to wake me up later? I promise. Nighty-night. I'll miss you too, buddy.